Well, welcome back. This week we'll be sitting down with Hastings mayor candidates and tonight we're joined now by Sean Hartman. And Sean, just tell me about yourself. Uh, well, obviously you've said my name is Sean Hartman. I grew up here in Hastings. Uh, I'm married to, uh, my wife's name is Elizabeth Israel and she is the owner and operator of Avani Day Spa downtown. Uh, I'm the president of Hastings HVAC Incorporated presently. Um, went to Tool and Die School at CCC, high school at Adams Central, and like I said, they've lived here my entire life. And you're also a city council member for the town, right? I am, city councilman for Ward 4 presently. Okay, and if you were elected as Hastings mayor, what would be your primary focus for the town? Primary focus is housing. I've made that pretty clear in everything that I've had to do with. We need to improve our affordable housing, and by affordable housing, I mean affordable by our definition of the word, not by what the state has for a definition of affordable housing. Okay, and adding on to that, is there a, a specific city project that you would like to see get underway? Well, there are several of them that are in process right now. Last night at our council meeting, we just got done taking care of doing a rezoning for um, blight and substandard properties so that we can hopefully raise opportunities for contractors to come in and take advantage of TIF funding and uh, hopefully that will bring some ideas to the area to help increase some of the housing problems that we have. Okay and you talked about housing do you think that is Hastings biggest issue right now? Absolutely housing indirectly and directly affects pretty much everybody that lives in Hastings. Uh, I can elaborate on that a little bit you know people would like to have more clothing shopping options more restaurants, they would like to have more places, and the simple fact is there's just not enough people in Hastings to employ to do all those things, which keeps a lot of those things from coming to Hastings. Um, the reason they don't come here is because there's no place for them to live. Uh, the affordable housing numbers in this town are I, we just do not have enough affordable housing for what we need to, so we need to grow the population by growing the affordable housing that's available. Okay, and now in the need of housing and affordable housing, what would be some steps you would take to make sure that actually happens? Well, right now I'm very actively involved in HEDC. I'm a past president and I'm also on the exec board. Uh, economic development is a big way that you can get involved in doing things like affect the housing market. I know there are some potential projects that are being talked about in the south side of town. There's also some more potential projects that are being talked about in the north side of town. I have been extremely active in the North Park Commons project, which is single family homes, and there was also apartment complexes that were built. So I would be looking to try to get funding sources and things like that so that we can increase those types of projects. Uh, that in turn is going to bring down our real estate taxes in Hastings and I think that's a huge complaint for almost everybody that lives here because they are kind of high. Okay, now what is something that city leaders have done in the last four years that maybe you found yourself disagreeing with? Um, that's a tricky question because being on the council for the last few years, I would, I guess I'm going to have to basically say not much because if there was anything that I disagreed with, I have voiced my opinion and was able to take my chance to vocalize. Um, and to be honest with you, as a council person, whether I disagree or agree, I represent my constituents that are in my ward. And I've made that pretty clear that a couple of times I've voted for my constituents when my own feelings were completely the opposite of that. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna trick question you on that one and say nothing. Okay, and uh, what do you think the town is currently thriving in at the moment? I think that we have an amazing community that is just ripe with opportunity. We're living in a time where the kids that are graduating high school and college, uh, the doors are literally wide open. Technology has made a lot of advancements in employment opportunities. And Hastings, if we can get affordable housing under control, they have great parks, they have great schools, they have really great clothing and eating options. We're, we may not be the biggest, but I definitely think that we are one of the best in the area at everything that we try to do. Um, I know for a fact that some of the best clothing places and restaurants and things like that are here in Hastings. So we focus on quality and not just quantity, and I think that's an effective way to grow. So I think we keep doing what we've been doing and keep just try to get more people to come back and make room for them to live here. Okay, and for people who might find themselves having conflicting views with you, why should they still vote for you? Well, the first thing I would say is please be welcome to have a conflicted view with me because I have learned a lot in my 50 plus years of life by having people that did not agree with me 
explain to me why they feel the way that they feel. Uh, that being said, I think that you should vote for me because you know that I am going to do what is best for the city. My track record shows that before I was able to be a city council person, I have been involved with Hastings Area Manufacturers Association. I've also been involved with MPAT. Uh, both of these things have to do with area manufacturers. I've always been very involved with HEDC because I have very, very many friends in town that run businesses as well, and my wife. Uh, I try to do anything that I can for the greater good of Hastings, and that's the only real reason I think you should vote for me is know that I'll give 110%, and everybody that does know me can attest to this, but I don't lose. So. Okay. Well, perfect. Well, Sean, I appreciate you taking the time to be yeah, here today. Really appreciate it. Well, you can cast your vote for Sean Hartman, who will be one out of the five names for Hastings mayor, along with Jackie Cranston, Jay Beckby, Rodney Holling, and Bill Heitzman. The two top vote-getters will advance to November, and the primary election will be on May 14th.